Today we introduce Ustas firmware 155. Besides some bug fixes, we introduced two new features. To demonstrate the first one, we need an external controller. It is the voltage controlled pattern recall. By using an external voltage patched to CVA or CVB inputs, we can recall any of the 32 patterns. Every pattern corresponds to a discrete voltage from 0 to 8 volts. A pattern increment corresponds to 0.25 volts, which are more or less a minor third. To take advantage of this feature, we patch our CV to either CV input A or B, and we select the pattern recall menu voice. We route our CVA to that, and from this point on, we can change our pattern. If you send any other kind of CV, Usta will approximate it to the closest value. The voltage recalling the pattern is processed by Usta at the end of the current pattern. So make sure to send the voltage a few milliseconds earlier than the desired pattern. For example, if we program a track with a pattern designed to cross-patch its CVB output to the CVA input, the CV change is too close to the pattern change and its information will be shifted by one pattern. Anyway, let's go back to our external controller. While we are changing our patterns, we are still able to use the pattern recall and pattern mix functions of performance mode. However, any change to the first and the last pattern won't have any effect because the voltage controlled pattern recall overrides this information. Even if we remove the CV, Usta will just drop to pattern 1, like if we enter the 0 volt through the CVA input. To return to the pattern loop, we must disable the voltage controlled pattern recall. However, there is a bonus feature. If we want to go back within our pattern loop without disabling the voltage control pattern recall, we can simply create a pattern with length equal zero, like in this case we made pattern 5, which is empty and it has zero length, and we just have to recall it. Once we will recall a pattern with zero length, Usta will go back within the pattern loop. Just recall any other pattern to go back to the voltage control pattern recall function. Now there is another feature, but to demonstrate that we need to change the patch. Here we are. This is a variation of the previous patch, but with tracks 2, 3 and 4 playing the same melody in unison. The second feature that we added in the new firmware is the fine BPM and it allows us to fine-tune the clock of our tracks up to the BPM sand. We access this feature through a new menu voices right below the BPM value. For example, we can assign a track 4 30 more cents and track 3 just 15. If we reset our sequence, we will experience a nice slow phasing. It may take a while, so sit down, relax, and wait until you find all the tracks drifting apart from each other. To download the new firmware, visit the link in the description.